17 the Greyhound Station. Seven hours north from San Francisco. I lied about my age. First time alone on the West Coast. I wore a coat and jacket. November winds are cruel. Rebel against tradition. I broke every rule there was. Of course I missed my father, but didn't admit to that Used to be that man's daughter, still insecure in that I don't know what I was seeking, evidence of God perhaps Parker died in November, since then the islands were ever First time that I was offered, weed was in the back seat of the truck that picked me up. 2 a.m. in a dark bus stop, it scared the hell out of me. I saw a man shoot up when he started creeping over. The car arrived, now slammed the door shut. They dropped me off in a small yard on a big vineyard. There was a man on the other cot, older than me and weathered. God, it was cold at night. And every night that followed, I counted my blessings three times, still freezing and I shivered. I miss my bed at home, I wanted some salvation, so much for the radical, revealing God's creation. But when the day first broke, you would have cried to see it, nothing so beautiful, I was struck with a holy feeling. My main task was the goats, they're kind and simple creatures. There was a great Pyrenees, a terrible babysitter. He was no good at his job, yet a great companion. I patted the goofy-headed dog and poured the feed with satisfaction. As I did this due note, the sun was slowly rising. Over the mountains into the smoke of a misty autumn morning. So I pulled out my phone. I swear in every picture there is a turquoise smudge that's Parker's favorite color. I journaled on the porch, the tiny outdoor kitchen, faced the setting sun, such freedom untimely given. My co-inhabitor showed me the weed they gave him, whether it was legal or not. Seemed a thing too small to mention. I hate the end of this one, cause I was too weak to take it. But my best friend had died. I was young and scared and naked to the world around. It was no eat, pray, love. Grief and fragility struck what little I had going. I tropped for three hours, pain spanned all up my back. Cried for my lack of power, then cried after the fact. I was aching, felt nervous, too many men around. It made me feel uncertain of everything and everyone. I cried myself to sleep the next three days or so. I called my mom and she booked the next plane home. I came up with some lie, family emergency. I felt Parker in the mountains, but I felt disheartened with who I proved myself to be. Don't
there's a joke here somewhere about the whole ordeal. Four days stint in the northest place that I've ever been. Wasn't cut out for hard work, though I longed to be. I wanted to spend time with my friend and the goats in the sea and the dumb great Pyrenees.